Hello there. Similar problem to the last one we did. The five friends we had before are joined by Fritzy Boy, and they are going to do a leg wrestling round robin tournament. I found that the arrows were a little bit small on the previous one, so I'm just going to darken them in. You can see them a bit better now. And now, because this is the matrix unit, I'm going to organize this into a winner's matrix. And it, uh, six people, it's going to be a six by six. Now I need to be a little bit careful when I do the entries. When I'm doing this row, this is who Apha beat. So she beat Beatrice, Cecil, and Amon. So I'm going to put ones in there. And she didn't beat anybody else, so the rest are going to be zeros, including this one versus Dana, even though they didn't have a match. Then we're on to row B, Beatrice. So I look at Beatrice. She beat Cecil and Fritz. So I'm going to put ones there. And she didn't beat anyone else, so the rest are zeros. Next row is Cecil. Cecil beat Fritz and Dana. The rest are zeros. And so on. So that I can work with it later on, uh, your matrix should look like this. Type it into your calculator, make a 6x6, six six, and uh, we'll call this matrix A. This is what matrix A is. You might use W for the winner's matrix, but in your calculator we'll probably use matrix A. Now I'm going to add up the rows in this matrix. So I wind up with these various entries, and they tell me that AFA won three games, Beatrice only two, Cecil two, Dana looks like is coming in last with one, Amond also had three, so Afa and Amond are tied, and Fritz at two. Now, instead of going through and doing zero plus one plus one plus zero plus one, I can actually organize this slickly with matrix multiplication. So I can use this really slick column matrix. I'm going to call this uh, column matrix B, so six by one in my calculator, and it will add that up for me. Because as I go across this row down this column, I'm doing 0 times 1, 1 times 1, 1 times 1, 0 times 1, 1 and 1, 0 and 1, and add those all up and I get 3. This is going to be a very slick way of organizing it. Okay, but we want to rank the players and we see that we have a tie for first, and then we have a three-way tie for third. So, how could we break this? Let's use powers. We already have this A matrix. Now I'm going to use my calculator and generate an A squared. That will show me who beat somebody who beat that person. And that's in the previous video. Your direct wins are still important, so I'm going to do A plus A squared. I'm not just going to do A squared by itself. And then I'm going to add up those rows. So this will count your direct wins plus your indirect wins. Uh, you beat somebody who beat that person. And this I'm going to multiply by matrix B. You have to be careful typing this into your calculator to get this all with parentheses or do this part first, press enter, and then multiply by your uh, column matrix. So let's see what those entries are. So I get these numbers. Now, um, AFA is definitely coming out ahead, but I still have a 6 here and a 6 here. So I still have this tie, and I want to settle that. So I'm going to go one step further. I'm going to go to A plus A squared plus A cubed. Get that entry and then multiply it by a column matrix. And each one of these numbers is now unique, so I have a I have a ranking for all these players. Afa came in first, down here, Amon came in second, so on and so forth. So I'll list those out. And there we have it. So this is a way of using matrices to come up with a unique ranking for this kind of tie-breaking situation. Now, there's nothing sacred about this way of doing things, and in fact, we could actually apply different scalars on these, but this is going to be our general practice for right now. Please show how far you have to go until you break the tie. Thanks for watching. Character and Scholarship for Life.